Hey guys, Darren here. Welcome to Mayhem Country Living. I am not on my property. I am at my brother-in-law's. And uh, today I am returning the favor. He came and helped me move the chicken house or the coop slash greenhouse. And today I am helping him uh, get a couple of his lawn mowers, uh, his riding mowers going. I used to do uh, a lot of small engine repair. And I did it for a very, very long time. I don't do much of it anymore except for, you know, friends, family, and you can do, you know, I always say if you can do a, a lawn mower, you can do a generator. Uh, you can make anything run uh, if you have a generator. So it, it's a good skill to have. And we're just kind of piddling around today, but uh, Andy is a locksmith, a, a very, very well-known professional locksmith and has been doing it for 40 years probably. And uh, he's actually been brought in uh, on cases uh, through the FBI to uh, figure out how stuff was done, how, how break-ins were done. And uh, he's really, really good. He's always been trying to teach me how to uh, pick locks. And one of these days I'll get around to doing it. Um, he is a master lock pick. Um, he can do it in seconds, anything, dang near, and uh, safes as well. So, I'll try to show you some of the safes that he okay, has. Guys, I want to okay. show you this. Uh, this porch <clears throat> is, gosh, I want to say 12 by 80. Uh, we built that, and uh, Andy and myself and four or five other people uh, in the family on and off uh, set everything up. It's just kind of what we do back and forth. We built this side. The other side is identical. He had uh, somebody else do that. And this is what he's just gotten finished is his pole barn, which is bigger than most people's houses. Um, and they built this all themselves. And they actually built it damn near for free because they scrapped out old equipment that they had around the property. That is how you recycle and repurpose right there. Huge. So, okay guys, this more is what we're working on. This uh, Cub Cadet twin cylinder, uh, Kohler engine, and uh, we checked it for fire and fuel, and it is getting both, changed the oil, and uh, we're about to uh, give it a good crank up. One of the things you can do when it's time to do this stuff is make sure when you change the oil filter, uh, write the date on there so you'll just have a record so you'll kind of know and spin it on there and then write the date where you can see it. And that oil filter is a multi-purpose oil filter. It fits all these different brands. So uh, Briggs, John Deere, Kohler, Wheel Horse, and Toro. So we're getting ready to uh, crank this thing up and there's going to be some smoke. it up. I want to show you this real quick. Kind of cool. Oh, does it? Yeah. Civil Defense 
water container, 17 gallons. He has just stuff like this laying around. And the, the cool thing about this, after you use the water, if you were in one of the civil defense bunkers, this became your toilet. So you would use the water till it was completely empty. You would poop in the box or in the uh, container and then you would uh, seal it up and store it away till the disaster was over. How about that? All right guys, I just thought it was pretty neat. Anyway, that's gonna wrap it up. This is just something uh, that you do, uh, trade out work uh, with neighbors, friends, family, stuff like that. It's a good way to get everything done when you need an extra pair of hands or a smarter head uh, than you are. Uh, he's really good at uh, doing the unusual stuff. Andy is uh, moving everything around. Anyway, guys, in just a second, you're going to see a picture of my ugly mug pop up over here on the opposite side. It's going to be some videos. If we are indeed your brand of wacky, guys, remember, take care of your people. Who are you helping?